we've all been here. Our hospice patients don't get all the care that they deserve and all the services that you can provide in hospice because they just got to us too late. The length of stay is really short. And so you can't make the impact that you wish you could. How do you change that? Well, this is a dialogue that we have every day with the reps that we manage and coach in hospice. And the best way to do that is to use the last example of, of a patient that they gave you that didn't get all the benefits and juxtapose that with a patient that did get the benefits. Now, where do you, where do you find this? Well, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to some of your favorite hospice nurses, social workers, go to your interdisciplinary group meetings and listen, talk, listen to them talk about all the benefits that a person who was on a longer length of stay got from you and what difference it made in the family. You're gonna hear stories of amazing reconciliations in the family, of having the patient really outline what is their perfect death and, and how, watch the family honor that as they go through that process. Comparatively to someone who only gets a few days with you, what, what do they get? Most of the time it's just managing pain and not getting to do the deep spiritual work that we do in hospice. So use your patience as the example because they're alive and they're living human beings that your referral sources loved. And that will make the difference in getting them to understand that if we just had a few more days, a few more weeks, a few more months, what difference that you could make in a patient's and family's lives, the impact would be so much greater. So my answer to you is get real live patient vignettes from your own hospice, use them to your advantage with your referral sources and talk to them. Many of you do what, what we call death calls, which is letting the, pay, letting the referral source and their PCP know that this patient passed. Don't just let them know they passed, share the story on how you made their life better. And if you could or needed more days, what could you have done differently? And ask them to be on the lookout for that type of patient a little bit earlier. It will make an impact, it will make an imprint in their brain so that you can then ask for those patients like Mrs. Jones and get them earlier. We teach this all on the Roadmap to Referrals. If you haven't heard of it yet, please jump on Mike at Home Care Sales email and get on his calendar to see what the Roadmap to Referrals is all about.